Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Urvashi and in today's video I'm going to design next screen for this concept. So I have collected some of the images from the Prance website and Prance Instagram page. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to create the back page or card page and for that I'm going to unhide this layout grid so that I can align everything properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy some of the elements from the previous screen so that the process will be faster. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one, this back button. So for that, hold option key or alt key and drag this to this screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the opacity for this uh, circle so that it is visible to the eyes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a heading as my back. Okay, so I've aligned this in the center with this icon. So I will uh, add the auto layout for these two. So for that, click shift plus A and auto layout will be added. Now I will align this in the center like this and check the spacing from the top. It's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the card from this screen only. I will keep the card as same as this one, but I will replace some of the elements and update the card. Now, I will just duplicate it by by holding Option B or Alt key. And if you want it to be in a straight line, make sure to hold the Shift key as well. So, hold Option key or Alt key with Shift key so that it will be in a straight line like this to the other screen. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give ample amount of spacing in between these two so that it will look good. So I will give uh, around 28 pixels a, a space in between these two so that it will not look cluttered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the images first of all. Then I will give the name of the product and then we can proceed further. So I will take this one. Uh, so I will take this one and copy this by clicking command plus C or control plus C. Then I will uh, select this one and click command plus V. It will get pasted like this. So now I will resize the image. Just a second. No, use uh, this command shift plus option plus command plus V. So it will get fully replaced by the new image. Okay, like this. Now I will just adjust it according to the frame. Now I will add the name of this product. I will take the name of this product from the website only. This is the product. I will shorten this name just a second I will just take this one okay like this now what I am going to do is it's in capital letters so I will change it to this one I will type this instead A second I am searching for the exact name now I will replace this one and now what I am going to do is just follow along with me for the better understanding This is the exact name for this product. Now I will add a 
delete button so that user can delete the um, particular item from their cart or move it to the wish list so for that i will add an icon also i will add the quantity of the product with the pricing here i'm changing uh, this card layout a bit follow along with me so that you can understand how i am designing these screens so right now i am designing that card and i am updating it a bit i am making it a bit more professional if you don't understand anything then you can always reach out to me on linkedin or maybe in the comment section so that i will resolve your query right now i am searching for the right icon I am adding the delivery information on this card. Now the card is ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this card and make another one and replace the images and the product name. So for that, a hold Option key or Alt key and drag this down. 
now i'm going to add some other product image i will add this one or maybe this one now i will add the total with the cta for checkout i will also create a breakdown for the bill here just a second so for that i will remove one of these uh, items and then will add here okay so i will create one frame here for the coupons also i will add a icon for that now i will add the price details
Now I will add the total amount at the bottom. I will add the total amount here as well. So the card page is ready. I have added all the necessary details that any card card page includes. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find this helpful. And if you did, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and hit that like button. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. Link is in the description. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.